Hey everyone, if you're new here, hello, this is Naveen. I'm currently a final year medical student at CMC Ular and welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a year long since I've last posted my video on YouTube and it's been really really hard time for me as well in staying away from the platform that I've always dreamed of and from where I've received immense love and support and you guys have helped me to reach 1k subscribers last year and I'm extremely grateful for each and every one of you and hence to have justice to all my subscribers I've decided to put an end to all that weight and finally I'm here with another informative video just as always. So without wasting any more time of yours and mine, let's dive into the topic of our discussion which is expected need cutoff of 2024. So in today's video, I'll be giving you a comparative analysis of the round one cutoff of last year with expected cutoff of this year. And with very few days ahead of Tamil Nadu Medical Counseling, this video will help you all to understand and to have an insight of how far the competition is or how far it is increased compared to that of the last year or where you stand in the competition. So as we all know, the need cutoff is usually dependent upon three major factors. The first factor being the number of candidates appearing for the exam, which seem to have increased from 20 lakhs to 24 lakhs in the last one year. And second factor being the difficulty level of the paper. So this is more of a subjective thing. So a more reliable way is to compare the marks versus rank of last year to this year. And I've meticulously worked to have the mark versus rank comparison. So please consider subscribing because I've taken a lot of time and effort in making this video. So I'll put the data on the screen. So as you can see, the number of students who secured a perfect 720 was 2 in the last year. Initially it was 67, but now it is 17 as per the re-neat. And the number of students who secured 700 corresponded to a rank of 100 last year, but it has increased to 2 thousand this year similarly the mark of 650 corresponded to a rank of 4000 last year which has increased to 29000 this year and 600 has increased from 21000 to 77000 and 590 has increased from 25000 to 91000 and 550 has increased from 49000 to 144000 so as you all can see there's a drastic increase in the mark versus rank of previous years with respect to this year now coming to the third important factor that determines the need cutoff which is availability of seats which doesn't seem to have significant increase from that of the last year so at present there are approximately around 55000 government seats and even after the publication of the video if there are few thousand seats which have been increased i don't think that is significantly enough to lower the need cutoff because the first two factors that i've mentioned clearly outweighs the third factor so from all this data and analysis it's clearly evident that the need cutoff of 2024 is going to be sky high so with that in background now let's actually get into the round one cutoff of 2023 and a word of caution over here please neglect the mark that i'm going to display that is just for the sake of completion and consider rank as more important because it's very clear that the mark versus the rank is not as the same as last year. So firstly let's talk about the round one need cutoff for the government quota. So as we all know there are 30% Tamil Nadu reservation seats and 20% Tamil Nadu Christian minority seats. So in the 30% Tamil Nadu reservation seats under 92.5% reservation for the OC category the round one closing mark was 677 that corresponded to a rank of 1800 and for the BC category the closing mark was 655 that corresponded to a rank of around 5400 to 5900 and for MBC the closing mark was 632 which corresponded to a rank of 12,000 to 13,000 and for SC it was 584 which corresponded to a rank of 38,000 to 39,000 and for ST category it was 367 that corresponded to a rank of 2,83,000 to 2,84,000. Now talking about the 7.5 reservation policy for government school students so under that the BCM category the round one closing mark was 434 which corresponded to a rank of 1,82,000 to 1,80,000 and for MBC it was 415 which corresponded to a rank of 2,8,000 8,000 to 2 lakh 9,000. So now talking about the 20% Tamil Nadu Christian minority seats. Round one closing mark for Tamil Nadu Christian minority seats was 601 that corresponded to a rank of 27,000 to 28,000. So now coming to the management quota. So in order to get into CMC through the open merit category, your rank should definitely be less than 1,500. If it's more than that, it's going to be near impossible. And for the staff quota, the closing mark was 523 which corresponded to a rank of 86,000 to 87,000. So that's about it my friends and my opinion over here is that these ranks that I've just mentioned or the ranks that corresponds to the round one cutoff mark of CMC for the last year. So if your rank is somewhat higher than this, then it means that you're safe. But let's say if your rank falls between this range that I've just mentioned, or if it's a little bit lesser than that, then you may be safe or you may not be safe. But again, these ranks are subject to change. A more definitive way of knowing it is to wait till the counseling starts. So that's about it, my friends. And if you have found this video useful, please consider subscribing and also click that bell icon so you'll never miss any single video or update of mine. And I've taken a lot of time and effort to make this video. So please consider giving me a thumbs up because that really means a lot to me and thanks for watching see you on the next video